Well, charges are starting to stack up in that case. Troy Muir was arrested and charged Saturday evening on kidnapping and burglary charges, and this isn't the first time he has been charged. Our Dana Searles has been digging into Muir's record and spoke with those impacted by his past actions. Dana. Stephanie, these charges come just over one year after Muir was released from prison for the death of his girlfriend at the time, Scalicity Perez, and her family believes justice has still not been served for her death. Troy Muir Jr. is now facing a long list of burglary and kidnapping charges after court documents say he showed up to his ex-girlfriend's home, physically dragging her out and driving her away. Muir was just released from prison on parole in May of 2023 after being sentenced to 15 years for a crash that killed his girlfriend at the time, Scalicity Perez. Perez's family is now speaking out, saying this news brings back Back every emotion on that day when I got that text message with that that footage that showed that he was back incarcerated then I looked at all the charges it's like all the emotions came up and we were re-traumatized um, all over again it's like it's a fresh new wound court documents say in 2015 Muir was driving almost 90 miles per hour when he crashed into a pole Perez was in the passenger seat and was ejected from the car I, f I feel that Justice wasn't served and he showed um, he, that's a prime example that happens when justice isn't served. Perez's family says they have had women reach out to them who have also been impacted by Muir's actions and their family has received hundreds of threats over the past eight years. And with Muir's actions resurfacing, Perez's family is reminded of the tragic reality. The nightmare starts all over and that's exactly what it feels like. Mira is scheduled to appear in court for the recent charges on October 2nd. Stephanie.